Kai's still getting used to the vest and uh, so far he hates it. He hates it a lot. But he looks so cute with it and it's good for him. It's good it's gonna be good for him to learn to carry the extra load. In case you haven't figured this out yet, um, we're going back home. Me and Puppy Kai are going back to, um, going back with my parents for now. The Jeep needs new gears and I'm leaving it with this guy down here in Oklahoma. So the plan is, I'm gonna go on vacation with my family, we're gonna come back, start this trip again, but with four by eight gears. Hopefully everything goes smoothly, nothing else needs worked on. He's also gonna take a look at the linkage for the four wheel drive, help me figure that out. This guy's got his cam truck over here. He's also gonna take a look at the linkage, get the four wheel drive fixed, so hopefully I'll get back. We will be able to go straight back to Colorado. That's where I wanna go. I didn't get to explore it quite as much as I wanted to, but if we get out there, get back on the road, that's the plan. Bye bye. Bye, Jeep. <laughs> Made it back to Longview, Texas, and we're actually at this gun store down here. Um, my dad's been finding some good deals. He's been stocking up on some 9mm handguns and some different things. And for the whole time on this trip, I've been using a 22 that he gave me. But there's a couple issues with it. First off, it's a 22, and then secondly, it's you know like this long for a pistol. And so like I need something a little bit more practical, especially if I'm out there and I need to defend myself. Um, a 22 is not going to do much. I actually got a little worried when I was out there in the forest. I was like, you know, if there's a bear out here, I'm probably just going to tick him off and at best. And then later, we might actually go to the shooting range, try to get a feel for the new guns. Okay. Yeah, well I have the 380 though, so I have a 42, so this is the new one. Uh, it's all fogged up. I thought I sold impressive. Yeah, I do. No well, luck, didn't really find anything in our price range that we didn't already have, so. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I broke my camera lens, long story short, on this camera. But it's one of those like little, little itty bitty lenses. It's not the big, you know, regular lens that you have in normal cameras, because if it was, I'd be able to use this. So this is my Canon 70D. And actually, holy cow, I didn't realize how big this thing was. Um, in comparison, because I've been using the M50, this is my 70D, but it kind of spontaneously combusted. Either way, I have this 10 by 18 millimeter lens right here. And this is actually a much better lens. I specifically bought this lens for vlogging because I love the way it looks. It's the exact same lens that Casey Neistat uses for the majority of his uh, daily vlogs. So that's what I got this lens for. But my problem I ran into is that it will not fit on this camera. So I got this. Right, one minute. This is the lens that was on it. Great little lens actually, it's just a kit lens, so it's a 15 by 45, but uh, it actually, I actually kind of enjoyed using it because I had the ability to zoom in to 45 millimeters, whereas this goes 18 max, which is just above 15. But the ability with this one also, I have this ability to zoom out and then zoom back in, so I this is, I really like this lens a lot more for the vlogs and stuff, but this actually, I have a lot of respect for this little cat lens. It did a lot better than I thought it would, but it broke. You see the crack. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Yeah, we're going to the shooting range. Um, 
And then Preston, he's going to be vlogging the whole process. I need NOS. I've got NOS. For you. Anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Say it again, Preston. Anticlimactic. Anticlimatic. Anticlimatic. Just, just, just yes, say it. Climatic. Anticlimatic. It was anticlimatic. Yeah. That okay. Way. All right. So, long story short, went in the gun store. We were gonna buy the ammunition there, but they're out of nine millimeter, which is what we all have, except for my mom. She has a 318. 380. I don't know why I thought I hit it. she has a 380 Smith and Wesson, but they don't have that either. And uh, How much you shoot still either? yeah, so it's uh, but then it turns out we don't have the bullets to shoot the guns because we left them at home thinking that we were supposed to buy them at the gun range. <laughs> I'm done now. <laughs> All right, back at the shooting range again, but this time we have ammunition. So this time, this time we're going to shoot.
Took a long time, but we finally made it. 1,000 subscribers. We finally made it to 1,000 subscribers. So that is actually the end for this video, but I just wanted to thank everyone for my first 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully we'll just keep on growing, but I think this is a big stepping stone for the channel. Hitting 1,000 is like that one point in, I guess, most people's YouTube careers where it's like finally shows that you're making progress. This is like when I can start, you know, monetizing my work and all this other stuff. So it's actually extremely helpful to me to finally have made it. Finally having made it to a thousand subscribers was just incredible. And I just want to thank all my supporters up to this point and any future supporters that I have for finally making it to a thousand. Um, I had a lot of fun going out shooting and, you know, making this video. And I just thought it'd be a cool way to tribute to the 1,000 subscribers. So that's going to be all for today. I will see you guys soon. Um, I don't know. My uh, vlogs are going to be a little bit up and down until I start doing stuff. I've just kind of been spending time with my family. So I'll probably start uploading once again once we get out and do stuff. So I won't have daily uploads. I might not be here tomorrow, but I'll see if I can, you know, get some uploads later on. So I will see you guys soon. I just need to you know, find some stuff to do. And so as soon as we get out on this vacation, I'm sure there'll be a lot of stuff to vlog about. I'll be out doing that, can't wait. And then as soon as we get back to the Jeep, we can get back on track. I'll see you guys later.